What I'm going to talk about today is a great bass amp, a B80XL. It's a single channel, solid state bass amp. This is the 990 limited edition. A single channel, solid state bass amp with a 15 inch speaker in a nice cabinet with wheels. Uh, it has a ported uh, cabinet. It's no frills. Taking a look at the front panel, uh, we've got two inputs, one for zero dB, which typically is for passive pickups, minus 15 dB, which is typically for active pickups. A gain control, in case you want to overdrive the bass a little bit. We have a pre-shaped knob, uh, which goes from low to high, kind of like a parametric EQ maybe. Uh, there's a low boost and a high boost button and there's a seven band EQ from 50 Hertz to four kilohertz. There's a single master volume knob and a, a limit indicator. There's a line out, a line in, a headphone jack, and then a DI output to feed directly into a mixing console in a studio or on a stage. And then the power button. We'll run through it real quick. Bass guitar, whoops. Put this in a little stand. All right. I've got a uh, Fender Jazz bass. Um, standard configuration, turn this on here. I'll use both pickups, just for reference. Everything's flat, the pre-shape, all the EQ, none of the boost buttons. Um, we'll do the pre-shape down to the low side a little bit. Frills, nothing fancy. They're all pretty responsive. Boost or cut. Uh, the amp did require a lot of contact cleaner in the jacks and the pots, and even here in the, the sliders for the EQ. But uh, the contact cleaner cleaned it up pretty good. High boost with uh, the frequencies up. Uh, it's pretty pretty buzzy. And that's about it. It's pretty no frills amp. Um, however, it is relatively light compared to some other bass amps of the same size, and it's built real solid. It's easy to move around. Um, I got this one for 50 bucks at a thrift store, and I would recommend doing the same if you can find a similar deal. It's the Crate B80XL. Thanks.